Welcome back to Sonoy Crossover. So let's talk about the off season. After the season ended, all ran all the different things happened in the. There was a bunch of things that happened yeah. in, in in the sense of right from the get go when uh, the season ended until now. So. Uh, to you guys, what was your favorite kind of off-season story? What was your favorite off-season move that happened? Well, I hate I hate to say it, but like, Demar, like, I, it's like surprising. It, it hurt because it's Demar. Like, he's loyal to us. He he put uh, he's he was a fan favorite. Like, he's loyal to the city. Mm -hmm. But we, we weren't we weren't winning a championship with him. And like, Kawhi gives us that opportunity. A healthy Kawhi gives us that opportunity. And based on what the press conferences so far have shown and what the media is saying, it's like it could it's a good sign right now. Mm -hmm. Because, we, we, yeah, like I said earlier, like he hit no threes against the Cavs in the playoffs last year. Not, not to say that he can't improve because he still has a long career, and then probably getting traded by the Raps is going to motivate him more to improve his game. Mm -hmm. But, Kawhi yeah, like with, with DeRozan, yeah. we weren't. I love him, like he's a great guy, but like. Kawhi we is a different end. Yeah, Kawhi yeah. is a So you were level. for the trade 100%. Yeah, like I, I obviously, for trade, like first yeah. few days, like it hurts. Like, wow, how are you going to trade DeRozan? Yeah. But then after, like I cleared, I cleared my emotions and stuff and like really <laughs> analyzed it, I'm like, yeah, yeah it's going to help. It's us. a smart move. Mm -hmm. yeah. Miko? I'd probably say like LeBron mm -hmm. moving and also Boogie, like, you know, going to Golden <laughs> State. Oh yeah. That's yeah. crazy. That. Like, nah. Like, yeah. What are your thoughts on LeBron and, Lake, and on the Lakers? I feel like he's really trying to, like, you know, be Kobe. Like, you know, why are you going to LA for it? Like, you know? Like, you don't want anywhere you wanted to, like, you know? Mm -hmm. I think but like, Kobe or Jordan? Like, which, which, like, one's know, just, which legacy is he trying to trash? Yeah, I feel like, yeah, you're right, Jordan. Both, yeah. like, both of them, like, you know, like, 24. All in one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, two birds, one, one stone. Yeah. Yeah. For real, he's saying two birds, you know? Yeah. But, like, yeah. And, you think, you but think, I think, like, Boogie was crazier, though. Like, had to be crazier. Like, it's, like it was one year for still. what? For what? For nothing, right? Yeah. Basically, well, nothing for them. You know, for that, for us, that song. Yeah, but, like, for one year, like, you... Like a renner ring, like you know. Yeah. <laughs> <Rena -ring>, like, <laughs> oh, that's true. No, I knew uh, top off season. Well, you said you said it. Like Boogie was the craziest part. Like, how, how's Golden State gonna get a five star player? Like, yeah. what? And then, and they have all five star players. They have all all star players on their team. Like, mm -hmm. um, so what are the chances for the three peat? Are you are you for the no? Three they're, yeah, they're they're pretty high. Yeah, and the yeah. Heat, they're probably gonna win. It's hard to say. It's yeah. hard to predict. With I mean, with an Achilles injury, like you guys. A lot of people have gone through it. I mean, Rudy Gay wasn't the same player when he injured his Achilles. So it, it, it's a gamble for... It's a gamble, for sure. I guess it's uh, for Cousins, it's a better gamble for him because he needed time to kind of recover and to kind of see... Uh, he needs to be on a team that can go far in the playoffs so then he'll have as much time to recover, to recover. and still have enough time to kind of prove himself and show that he yeah. can still play because he wants that max contract, right? And the only team really that can give him that long in terms of probability that he'll be in the finals is the Golden State Warriors because usually in the playoffs you're going to have every game uh, is more valuable than the regular season so if he, he's able to recover the whole season even if he doesn't play mm -hmm. he's still be in the playoffs just because he'll exactly. be in, in the Warriors right? so be it was 100%. like you know people people kind of scolded him for the fact that he dis decided to join a team that's like mm -hmm. just won a championship mm -hmm. but on his side he was thinking I think he was thinking a lot about which team am I going to have the most, the more time to recover, and which team is going to have make sure that I still be playing in the playoffs? And I think it was Golden State. It was hard to. Mm -hmm. uh, and and f there's also a lot of couple stories that just happened recently. I mean, doing Casey firing. Do you guys thought it was it was just right after the playoffs? So to you guys, do you guys feel that it was necessary to get him off, or I mean, even the new coach? Coach of the year. Coach of the year. Yeah. Yeah. I don't. Okay. Sorry. You go. Yeah. My bad, yo. But I, what I was gonna say was at the end of the day, basketball is a business, right? Yeah. So you never really know what's gonna happen. Like you know, you're taught that from like when you're very young, like when you know the OBAs, when all of those like kids, like you know, whose dads on the team made it. You know <laughs> yeah. what I mean and stuff like that. So like it's always gonna be a business. So like no matter what, we never really know what's gonna happen. Mm -hmm. And like in terms of moving forward, like I think it was a pretty good decision. Because, like, you know, it's been the past three years. Like, you got coach of the year this year, right? But, yeah, it was, like, what? Like, you know, you kind of, like, peaked already. Like, yeah. next year, we're going to do, like, like you know? Just kind of yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. True. What about the uh, the recent happenings in terms of uh, Jimmy Butler and Carl and Janelle's, all that Timberwolves uh, shenanigans? Like, what are, you guys <laughs> what are your thoughts about it? Like, mm -hmm. was Jimmy right? Or was, you know, is there something going on behind the scenes with Wiggins and Towns? I don't know. I'm just looking at the front office, right? Because... Yeah. The owner, I, I, the, his name slips my mind, but he's saying, yeah, if you want, if you want to, if you want to make a deal for him, contact me. But Thibodeau and the rest of the front office, nah, nah, he's staying here. Like, uh, like I don't even care what's happening on the court. Like the front office, that's where, that's where all the decisions are made. Like they need to, they need to like sort stuff out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And Jimmy Butler thoughts? If you, if you guys... Jimmy Butler, Toronto. 
coming to Toronto. Toronto. So, oh. they, all you guys want is just him to be yeah. traded somewhere here, or maybe mm-hmm. Toronto. No, right? I, don't, I, don't, I don't want. I don't want. You guys don't I, want I, Jimmy. Now we need to save our money. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. who, who do you think we're like, gonna well, save He's money. a one-year rental too. If we do oh, end up right? getting him, yeah. because he might sign off somewhere in the next off, in exactly. next season. Yeah. Yeah. And no one's staying in Toronto, you know, because of the taxes. Like you know, no, no. <laughs> it's all about money, huh? <laughs> yeah, like, like business, taxes, you know, and, and the winter. And let's talk about rookies too. Off season, everyone, you see the the training happening. What are the promising rookies coming into the next season that you're like, whew, we gotta watch out for those guys? I like I like Luka Doncic from he's, yeah. he's on the Mavs. Yeah, yeah especially I like him too. He's an I international mean, player with, with great international experience already, and then he has one of the greatest international players of all time mentoring him in Dirk Nowitzki. So and like that's probably gonna be his his team now because like Mavs they're just fading. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So he's gonna. I think he has a good shot of rookie of the year. And he mm-hmm. has players that's going to help him because Dennis. everyone, like, DeAndre just a dunker. Mm-hmm. So he needs someone that can set him up. I mean, Dirk just needs to catch and shoot. So he needs to, someone to set him up. Yeah. And then uh, Dennis Smith, it kind of helps him out too. So he doesn't have to play the point guard. So you have someone that likes that. Mm-hmm. And Barnes is just a score. So it's a good compliment for him, mm-hmm. I think, as mm-hmm. well. Miko. Yeah. I'll say Colin Sexton. Mm-hmm. Okay. He's just, he's crazy. Like, yeah. you know, like he has Same a young boy. He's a young, young boy. Like, you know, like he left like Alabama. Yeah. Like Alabama, like who's in Alabama? Like you know football, yeah. like you know, <laughs> like to like the, the what was it? The Sweet Thirty Two or whatever you call it? Mm-hmm. Not Sweet Thirty Two. <laughs> thirty Two. Yeah. He's yeah. in the right place. Yeah. I mean, mm-hmm. the ball, yeah. he's uh, LeBron's yeah, he's own team. Everything. LeBron's yeah, gone. Exactly. Yeah, his so team, it's on you know? him. Yeah. You got Gilas Filipinas, Jordan Clarkson helping him out. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Puso. Yeah. And Noah, you. Uh, Any, uh, anyone? Trey Young. Trey Young. I think Trey Young's gonna have a solid season with Atlanta. Why you don't believe me? Why don't you like Trey Young? Because he's not Curry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the he's Curry. He has, Curry, he has yeah. the potential he's to be like yeah. close to Curry or like a Jimmer for that just because of his size and exactly. the way he plays. Exactly. Jimmer for that. Where's Jimmer for that? Place. It's yeah. like Pillsbury and No Name, you know what I mean? Like, are you going to go with Pillsbury and No Name? Yeah. <laughs> so like, you guys, it was, it was great chatting with you. Let's do some shout outs and thank you guys for coming on the show. Anything you'd like to shout out or say to any of our no, any viewers? Follow me on Instagram. That's pretty much it. <laughs> yeah, Rico. Smile. Rico Suave. Give a big shout out to Loyalist College. Shout Good out luck to, on your uh, season, my boys Ridge. My little brother Jello out there. <laughs> and my family, God, thank you. You know, love you. Pleasure to be on the show right here. That's all I got to say. Shout out to everyone here. Wait, and follow okay. me on Instagram. You know, mm. yeah, and Coach Pat, Coach right John, you know, Brown Meal, you know. <laughs> you know? <laughs> all right. PJ here, Mikey Mark. You guys know how we say it. Stay balling.